the lives of the different characters in the Academy of Death all interweave in a complex web of lies, deception and criminality. And I wanted the intricacy of the musical structure and style to mirror these complex interrelationships. I also wanted to contrast sharply the two different worlds, the rich and the poor, those whose lives are purposeful and matter, and those whose lives are thought to be meaningless. So quite often the dark and shocking moments in the piece are followed with uncomfortable speed by brighter and more lively passages. So for example, at the um, start of the second act, the moment when Fetes intentionally kills his first two victims. There's some very angular, dissonant music. Um, and this flows straight into a chorus, then extolling the virtuous fetters. What a wonderful man he is who so selflessly gives his life to help him. Stand, he'll astonish, leave you gasping for breath. A muscle in position, you're under his spell. One triple in incision, you'll soon be just swell. He's made in his life's mission to send you to Production um, and a lot of the music is quite dark um, and intense, but at the same time, there's some very frenetic sections, very sort of nervous excitement um, comes through in the music. It's quite lyrical, there's some really beautiful songs, um, slower songs in there as well. So it's a, a real mixture. It's never formulaic, uh, it's, nev it's, it's never, you never get the the feeling that you know where the music is going. It's always, as soon as you get an idea about it, it changes direction, um, it holds your interest all the way through. It's dramatic, it's intense, it keeps the audience on the edge of their seat. Alfred Fetted is a young, idealistic character who's training to be a doctor. He's, he's quite naive. Um, he starts off just wanting to make the world a better place for the sick and the poor. He works for the infamous Dr Knox, um, sourcing and preparing bodies for Dr Knox and his students' experiments. He becomes increasingly concerned um, as John Gray, um, the man that sources the bodies, brings him more and more to dissect. He starts to imagine, as the play goes on, how and why these bodies have started to appear on his dissecting table. His ambitions suddenly change when he meets the beautiful Isabella, um, Dr Knox's daughter. He takes increasingly drastic measures um, to source the bodies um, that Dr Knox needs and to get enough money to buy Isabella um, an engagement ring. Um, obviously as the play wears on he ends up killing 
more and more people um, in order to find the money to buy the ring. Um, it's not called the Academy of Death for nothing. Janet Brown, who actually existed. Um, she was one of the victims of the Birkin hair killers who supplied bodies for Dr. Knox. Janet lives on the streets and meets Alfred Fetters when he offers to take her and her friend Mary in um, when Janet's not very well. Because Alfred is so kind to her, uh, she falls in love with him, but she's clueless about all the awful things that's going on in the background and that he doesn't love her, but he's really in love with Isabella. she is convinced that Alfred is in love with her and that he's bought a ring for her but he has very different ideas going on in his mind. Isabella, sweet perfection, such beauty, such grace. Isabella, what a wonderful face. What a smile, what a face. Isabella is the rich and beautiful daughter of Dr. Knox. All the men fall hopelessly in love with her. And all of the women, because of this fact, they become jealous and that makes them despise her. embarrasses himself by declaring his love for her. She is slightly shocked and embarrassed by this, apart from instead of um, shaming him in front of the crowd, she takes pity on him and is kind. This has the unfortunate effect, however, of making him think that um, she could actually love him. As Fetus becomes increasingly disturbed, he begins to have these delusional episodes when he sees Isabella encouraging him to do more and more terrible things.